Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Um, today I am testing out another concealer um, and this is one that I've been trying to do for a very long time but anyway no more procrastin procrastination here we are. Um, so this is the Pat McGrath um, Sublime, Sublime? Oh Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. Um, so this is what it looks like, comes like in a small cardboard box with all the gold detailing um, if you've used them, used Pat McGrath before or if you've seen some of um, her products um, then you would know that all her products come like with the gold detailing. Um, so I got this online obviously because we can't go in stores at the moment and I couldn't test anything either so what colour I have got, I don't know, I just checked online. So the colour actually, uh, the colour that I got was LM10. Um, so it says that it's a weightless, full coverage, high performance, runway tested, mother approved uh, concealer. Um, it, so all of, her, um, all of her products are like mothership um, related. So yeah, uh, so this is what the concealer looks like, like a normal average concealer to be honest. But but it is a glass bottle can you hear that yeah it's a glass bottle it is quite weighty for a concealer and then um, over here with the gold it says uh, Pat McGrath Pat McGrath lab so which obviously you can't see because my camera refuses to focus today anywho um, yeah so in here you get um, 5 ml which is 0.16 ounce, uh, fluid ounces of product which again I don't think is a lot um, but people say that it's very high coverage so you don't actually need a lot to start off with anyway so let's see so this is what the wand looks like again um, nothing out of the ordinary this is what the wand looks like um, again nothing out of the ordinary I think this might be okay so this is the colour um, I literally just put one dot on it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on my scar over here and see if that covers it. Um, okay, it is quite full coverage, but also thinks it's, I think it's too peachy for me. If you can see that, it has covered it quite a lot. Um, and then on camera, it does look quite peachy, so I'm a bit scared. Anyway, um, let's zoom you in. Right, I've some I've come to a better location so you can actually see my face. So the way I'm going to test this out is again I'm going to do one of my eye, one of my eye with my finger, and then one with my um, sponge because that's how I usually do it anyway. So let's start off with one dot here, one dot here. Um, I do have my corrector on at the moment, like always. Um, the one from uh, Benefit right I think that should be enough um, let's start with the sponge first that eye looks really nice I think the colour match is not bad unless it starts to oxidise and then it looks absolutely horrific. Um, I think we should be okay. So obviously the one that I've used my finger, um, it's given a better coverage as compared to the sponge. Mostly normal for nearly all the products I use anyway. So like all the concealers I use anyway. So yeah, this is what it's looking at like at the moment. And I'm thinking I should use some around my nose as well uh, because I usually use that anyway so let's go in with dot here uh, a bit around my mouth so I'm just using it the way I use all my concealers um, and I'm just going to use my sponge So, so far, um, it's a really easily blendy, really creamy, um, quite a lot of pigment, 
actually uh, it's quite it is quite high coverage um, you you do need to realize that I put the tiniest amount on my eye and it's given me I would say like I wouldn't say full coverage but like a good size a good level of medium coverage um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not cross about that I'm actually quite quite happy with that so what I will do what I will do is I will set um, the eyes and um, then I will do um, a wear test obviously um, and then once I take it off before I take it off I will hopefully hopefully remember <laughs> to record it for you guys and then we can see what the hype is all about so I will see you guys later on right okay so I've come right next to the window so you can see um, now this creasing is very normal with me so um, again for the price I think it should have done something like something to it but it hasn't um, and I've put this around my like my face my chin my nose and my forehead and it's blended in really really nicely and it is absolutely a lot of like full coverage I have to say um, I think on the eyes because I didn't put a lot on um, it didn't give like a maximum full coverage so if they claiming that's full coverage it definitely will be because I didn't put enough on let's be honest um, but in terms of like the lines that I under my eyes it hasn't really battled that and I haven't had it for I haven't had it on my face for a very long time because I just finished my makeup so like 15 20 minutes so in terms of that I'm not wowed but obviously we will see what it looks like at the end of the day and then I shall report back then I guess so until then toodaloo hi guys so I am back with my um, end of day check-in I'm sorry I'm using my phone and I keep looking there but the camera is here um, anyway it's one of those days so um, this is what the concealer is looking like at the moment if you can see um, yeah, it's creased massively like, can you see that my goodness and also on this this is the side that I used um, the sponge and this is the side where I used my finger initially the side where I used my finger was quite good actually um, and it did cover quite a lot as compared to my other side but now if you see um, the side where I use my fingers is now looks much more crinkly than this side now I have a few things Firstly, I think maybe because, firstly I think maybe because I used a corrector under my eyes, um, Benefit one, which is in fairness quite thick. Maybe because of that it's, like the layering has created it because this is like insane. Look, look how crinkly it is. Look, like maybe maybe it's not good for your under eyes but it's good for um like the rest of the face which to be honest really defeats the purpose because the concealers at least for me is mainly under eye so i don't know how to feel about this i will definitely try this again i will definitely use this again um only because when i finish filming everything else and I looked at my face about, I would say, half an hour later. It looked absolutely flawless. Like the middle of my face where I had my concealer around my nose, this area. It was so flawless. It was completely full coverage. And it just looked like my skin was so smooth. So I don't understand what really happened here. Anyway, I will try it again. Um, maybe tomorrow and i will let you guys know i will leave something at the end of the video hello it's me um so i tried this again the next day and you can see absolutely 
no wrinkles and I think that was mainly because um, I the second time I used this I moisturized my under eye really heavily and also I did not use my corrector so because this concealer has like a peachy undertone I think you might not need a corrector so maybe the creasing was because the corrector was thick and then obviously this is for coverage it's very creamy um, and they just didn't go well together so I think moving forward if you do want to use this concealer under your eyes and you do have lines like me then don't use anything under it just use this on its own and it will be absolutely beautiful and to be honest I have now fallen in love with this concealer it is absolutely beautiful it does stay on uh, for a very long time doesn't crease and yeah it looks absolutely amazing so that's it for this video guys I really hope you guys like it please do subscribe give this a big thumbs up and yeah I'll see you guys later bye